after the end of the Battle of the Trench and the victory of the Muslims in it, the Messenger of God, peace be upon him, prepared to go to the Jews of people of Quraysh. After they betrayed the covenant with Prophet, peace be upon him, and joined the war with Quraysh. When he reached the outskirts of the tribe, the army stopped. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, and the Muslims tightened the siege around the houses of people of Quraysh, as well as cast terror into their hearts. They also failed at finding a solution to avoid the consequences of their betrayal. أوكلما عاهدوا عهدا نبذه فريق منهم بل أكثرهم لا يؤمنون. So they sent to Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, a request to send them a man who represents the Muslims to discuss the matter with. In this situation, the mercy of Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, appears yet again, even against his worst enemies. Allah's Messenger sent them Abu Lubaba, son of Abdul Munthir, who was one of their allies from Al Aws, to talk to them. Qab, son of Asad, and people of Quraysh have agreed to surrender on the condition that Saad, son of Muaz, to judge them. Allah's Messenger then said, Then Sa'ad son of Mu'az shall judge them. So Sa'ad son of Mu'az came despite being injured as ordered by the Prophet peace be upon him. O Messenger of Allah, you have requested my presence and here I am. The Messenger of Allah peace be upon him said to Sa'ad son of Mu'az, Sa'ad, I know that you requested from us when you were injured not to leave our revenge upon the people of Quraysh who betrayed us and allied themselves with the disbelievers. Yes, O Messenger of Allah. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, said to Sa'ad, Then it is yours, Sa'ad. And so Sa'ad judged people of Quraysh, and they accepted the verdict of Sa'ad. Fears began to reach the masters of Mecca. O oh, Safwan, did you hear about what happened to people of Quraysh? Yes, they accepted the verdict of Muhammad and he managed to control Yathrib and its surrounding areas as well as expanding his influence. I'm starting to worry, Ikrima. I know what Safwan son of Umayyah is worried about. Mecca, right Safwan? Indeed so, Abu Sufyan. After Muhammad has expanded his influence, settled in Yathrib and managed to stay alive in spite of all our invasions, he surely will come for us soon. Musaylama the liar was claiming the prophecy in Najd, sitting with the disbelievers and telling them about his alleged miracles. Oh, Thumama, I heard that you are going to Mecca. Yes, I am. Nothing is delaying me but your interesting talk. What do you say about passing by Muhammad and killing him on the way? I am the prophet and will be with you and help you to kill him. If I have the chance, I will not hesitate as it is my desire, because I hate him and what he calls for. Then go, and may my prophetic blessings guide you. Where are you heading, man? I am going to Mecca, and if I find Muhammad on my way, I will kill him and get rid of him. What? What are you saying, man? Kill the Prophet Muhammad? Do you want to kill the Messenger of God, man? The Messenger of Allah? Are you Muslims? Yes, and your time has come. Calm down, man. Let's take him to the Prophet and he will judge him as he sees fit. O oh, Messenger of Allah, we arrived at people of Bakr, son of Vail, and they knew we were coming, so they fled, and we didn't find any one of them. And on our way back, we found this man who wants to kill you. My men almost killed him, but I stopped them and brought him to you. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, found good in the man, so we ordered for him to remain in the mosque to see the Muslims and their prayers, learn the Muslims' morals and manners in dealing with each other and with the Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, as well as listen to what is being recited from the Holy Quran to be a reason for his guidance. <laughs> Allah 
أنزل عليه آية من ربه قل إن الله يضل من يشاء ويهدي إليه من أناب الذين آمنوا وتطمئن قلوبهم بذكر الله ألا بذكر الله تطمئن القلوب The man remained in the mosque and the message of Allah passed by him and asked kindly, How are you, Thumama? What do you have, Thumama? Muhammad, if you kill, you kill someone with people backing him up and they will not be quiet about that and will seek revenge and if you tenderize, you will tender on a thankful one. If you want money, you will be given whatever you want. The man remained in the mosque for three days and the messenger of Allah asked the same question to which Thumama responded with the same answer. The messenger of Allah then ordered his unconditional release. I testify that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is the messenger of Allah. Welcome to Islam, O oh brother of Islam. The Messenger of Allah has permitted you to perform Umrah. Congratulations, my brother. Thumama embraced Islam and became a good Muslim, and he was deeply in love with the Messenger of God, peace be upon him. The Messenger of Allah saw a vision that pleased him a lot, so he gathered his companions and told them about his vision. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, saw that he was with his companions, visiting the sacred house, and that he had his keys, as well as circled around it with them. They were also either with shaved heads or shortened hair. Allah is the greatest! Allah is the greatest! لقد صدق الله رسوله الرؤيا بالحق لتدخلن المسجد الحرام إن شاء الله آمنين محلقين رؤوسكم ومقصرين لا تخافون فعلم ما لم تعلموا فجعل من دون ذلك فتحا قريبا then the Messenger of Allah ordered his companions to prepare themselves to go to Umrah and to visit the sacred house of Allah. The Prophet then prepared himself and wore the best clothes. The Messenger of Allah is ordering you not to take any weapons except what the traveler usually takes, as you are not going out for battle, but you are going out as worshippers. Visiting the sacred house of Allah. The Prophet rode the camel and ordered everyone to move to the sacred house of Allah. Here I am, O Allah. Here I am. Here I am. You have no partner. Here I am. The news reached Quraysh and they decided to prevent him from entering. How dare Muhammad try to come here? Doesn't he fear death? It seems that he came as an invader asking for a fight. No. I swear that he only came to visit the Kaaba and do tawaf. We don't trust him and his companions. He wants to enter Makkah against our will. Then let's stop him from entering the Kaaba and fight him before he sets foot here. هم الذين كفروا وصدوكم عن المسجد الحرام والهدي معكوفا أن يبلغ محلة ولولا رجال مؤمنون ونساء مؤمنات لم تعلموهم أن تطؤوهم فتصيبكم منهم معرة بغير علم ليدخل الله في رحمته من يشاء لو تزيلوا لعذبنا الذين كفروا منهم عذابا أليما Here I am, O Allah. Here I am. Here I am. You have no partner. Here I am. Oh, Messenger of Allah, people of Al Ahabish have gathered to stop us from visiting the sacred house. The Messenger of Allah, peace be upon him, asked his companions to consult them in the matter of that Ahabish. Abu Bakr said to him, O Messenger of Allah, Allah and his Messenger knows best, but we came to the sacred house to visit it. And we won't fight unless they fight us, except if he decided to. 
Here I am, O Allah. Here I am. Here I am. You have no partner. Here I am. Verily, all praise and blessings are yours, and all sovereignty. You have no partner. And the Prophet, peace be upon him, continued his way with his companions towards Mecca.